Hello, today I'm going to be talking about the single most important marketing tool that every actor needs, the headshot. Your main acting headshot needs to be as versatile as possible. No extreme character shots unless that's just what you want to go for and they're the roles that you will always be put up for. With Spotlight you've got one main shot. Yes, you've got the option of having multiple headshots and things, but for the book and for the main headshot you need something that's going to capture the imagination of the audience. I've been into too many headshot sessions where I don't have any idea what I want. I just uh, just have a vague idea. I, yeah, I need some new headshots. Uh, maybe I'll have some stubble in this one, look a bit more edgy. Uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll shave and look a bit more clean shave, a bit more clean cut, but have an idea of, um, of what you actually want to achieve from it. The last headshots I had, I really wanted some sleek, uh, Cary Grant-esque style, so I thought about the cl clothes I was wearing, so it was a shirt, it was a suit, it was clean shaven, it was slicked hair, um, and I went for an indoor studio shot where you can manipulate the lighting to create a really nice sort of warm, um, gorgeous effect. And this time round, I'm looking for something a bit more natural, a bit more, it's going to get me more work in theatre, get me more versatile roles. I'm going into this session with a bit of stubble here. Halfway through, I'm going to shave, so I've got some clean shaven, and I'm also taking my glasses with me because I wear contact lenses and glasses, but it does completely change the way I look. So have a little think about what uh, you want to achieve personally from it. What is your casting? What roles will I typically be playing? You're, gonna, you're up against lots and lots of people. Yes, you can play the villain. Yes, you can play the comedian. Yes, you can play that, that, that. I'm sure your acting ability allows you to do that. But realistically, what are the casting directors going to see when you walk into that room? What are they going to cast you as? This is the mistake I made when I was just starting out is I didn't really know what character. I had this vague idea of what I might be playing, but have an idea of who you are. If you're unsure, ask somebody else. It's so difficult sometimes to be able to see yourself. So if you've got an agent, ask your agent. If you've got other actor friends that are non-biased, um, ask them. Don't ask your mum. Don't ask your, your brother and sister. They're not, they don't, they don't know. Of course they're going to say, you look great. You look fantastic. Yeah, you're the leading man when you're not. Have a look at photographs of you. I mean, some of the best photographs of me are ones that I uh, wasn't expecting. They're just natural shots that have been taken on camera phone. But see what works about them and what, and what you like. What am I saying? Don't try and be something that you're not in your photographs. It's not all about looking handsome, it's not all about looking beautiful. It's what's going to make you stand out from the crowd. So when the casting director is seeing a, a whole page of spotlight entries, a whole load of submissions, what's going to make you stand out? It's easy just to Google Headshots London, Headshots Birmingham and have a look for photographers. Don't automatically go for the first one you find though. Have a look at, the, have a look at their work, have a look at their track record and perhaps speak to other actors who have used them before. For me, I was working on the stage uh, back in October, and there was a whole wall of headshots of the actors that were that were um, that I was working with. A number of them had gone with the same photographer, and I really liked her work. I loved how natural they looked. I loved the lighting, so I decided to go with her. When you're choosing a photographer, don't be stingy. Okay, this is an investment for your future. It's important that you go with a photographer that knows what they're doing, that's going to make you feel comfortable and get the best headshots you possibly can. If you find a headshot photographer that you really like and you think you're going to gel with them, go for them. Remember, this is the, the single most important marketing tool that every actor needs. It's the first point of call. It's the first thing that a casting director or director is going to see. Like any good business, you need good marketing tools. So it's important that you go for the right photographer, which doesn't necessarily mean the cheapest or the most expensive. And if you think 200, 300, 400 pounds is expensive for a headshot, think again, how much do you spend on coffees, on cigarettes, on drinking? That's not going to get you more work. This headshot is going to get you work. There's a big debate whether you should go for colour or black and white on your headshots. It used to be that black and white 10 by 8 headshots was the only format that you went for. In recent years, colour has started to show up. Now it's pretty much 50-50. If you've got particularly striking features, perhaps you're a redhead, perhaps you've got piercing green eyes, colour you can see can be a fantastic um, option to go for. Black and white, however, does look very classic and you can get some really lovely tones and contrast. Timing of the session. I think the perfect length of time for a photography session is anything from an hour to hour and a half. Anything under that, you're going to feel rushed. You're going to spend the first half an hour relaxing into it and then it's over. Anything too long, you start to get tired. So anything between an hour, hour and a half is absolutely perfect. If you have any ideas of what you want to achieve, communicate those to your photographer. Actors go into a headshot session um, thinking the photographer's going to do all the work. They're going to do all the technical bits, but you need to have that dialogue between you about what you want to achieve together. Email them some ideas. So really, it all comes down to the preparation. There's a lot of physical things you can do to prepare for your headshots. On the day of the headshots, don't try and cram anything in that you don't need to. 
For me, I've completely cleared my diary for today. Take a day off work. It's very important that on that day you feel relaxed, you're not thinking about tasks you haven't done or the dinner tonight, and that you're there focused on the task at hand. Don't get into any stressful situations that day. Stay away from any negative people and just do what's right for you because you get one chance at this and you want to make it the best you can. You're investing in this, you want to get your money's worth, you don't want to waste the opportunity by being stressed, by being tired, so get plenty of rest, drink lots of water, don't go drinking the night before, get a good night's sleep the night before, you don't want bags under your eyes, you want to feel refreshed, so get up nice and early, have a good breakfast, seize the day. Don't drink too much coffee or Red Bull, it's just going to bring you down, you're going to be up for a minute and then you're going to, it's going to show. Don't overeat on the day, you don't want to feel bloated, the whole, the whole point of the day is you want to feel confident. I treat my headshot day like it's my wedding day. That's the attention to detail that I go into. I want to feel confident, I want to feel relaxed, but engaged. In fact, it's the same feeling that you should feel when you're about to go on stage. You're relaxed, you're confident, you're present. Groom yourself. Um, women are great at doing this, but I think men, it kind of slips. Analyze yourself from top to bottom of your face. I often get hair here. Pluck your eyebrows, gents, and if you don't do it yourself, get your lovely girlfriend to do it. Nose hair. That's often overlooked. If you're going for any stubble or beard, think about that as well. Um, my beard tends to sort of go a bit crazy down here. Tidy that up, tidy it up, make it nice. There's a lot of things you can do in Photoshop afterwards, but it's much better for the photographer and for you to, to do the preparation before. Rather than editing out that stray bit of hair, shave properly, groom yourself, make an effort. It's not about looking beautiful, it's about freshening up your look. It's about getting rid of all of the, the stress and just having a fresh look. And it not only shows on your face, but it'll, sh it'll make you feel more confident as well. It'll make you feel sexy on the day, and that's where you want to feel. Don't go for anything extreme. This goes for hair, it goes for makeup, it goes for clothes. Your headshot is supposed to show what you look like on a day-to-day -day basis, so that when you walk into that audition room, you look exactly like you do in that photograph. Otherwise, the casting director is going to say, I didn't ask for that guy, I asked for this guy here. Where has he gone? So it needs to be an accurate reflection. Don't do anything extreme unless you are going to look like that every time you go into a casting. So if you're going to shave your panels here um, and you just want to go for those sort of alternative punk looking modern uh, characters, young characters, you've got to look like that every time you go in and that's, that's how you're going to be stuck now. Otherwise you're going to need new headshots. Clothes, dark grey, blacks, whites, simple colours. No flashy patterns, no bright colours something that's subdued because at the end of the day you're only going to see about this much here but I've got some brand new jeans on underneath here I've got some lovely shoes on a belt so that when I'm there and I'm in the moment I'm feeling really confident what's the most intriguing aspect of people is about being themselves it's that age-old saying be yourself and if you're trying to emulate a look of Leonardo DiCaprio Ryan Gosling or whatever the, the, the hottest thing is at the moment you're gonna fail miserably so stop doing that and focus on yourself and enjoying and being the best version of you that you can be on the day. Okay, so it's the day of the shoot. You've had some nice rest, you've had, you're well hydrated, you've washed, you've groomed yourself, you're looking fantastic, you put your clothes on, you're feeling great, and you're heading there. I've got my headshots around about just after midday, so it's not too early in the morning that I'm still, mm, I can't be bothered, and it's not too late in the day that weather's hit me, the day's stresses have got on top of it, so it's nice, I recommend having it nice right in the middle of the day, if you can. And my first acting headshots, I was very, very nervous. It's very alien to have a have a, a camera thrust straight in your face, so it's important to be completely relaxed and to treat the camera as an audience member. It's absolutely important that on the day you are completely confident, you're completely relaxed, and you're looking forward to it. 99% of the work was all in the preparation and making yourself get into this point. Be engaged in the moment because the camera is going to pick up everything. If you're dead behind the eyes and you're not and you've just shut off, you're going to get really boring, empty photos. The rabbit in the headlights look is never good. So even if you've got big, big eyes, big blue eyes like me, don't think about opening them nice and wide because it's really quite boring. Little tip, narrow the eyes slightly. I'm not talking about squinting like this, but just narrow the eyes slightly. Because you do that naturally when you think. You do it when you're engaging with people. And it creates more mystery, it creates more intrigue, it creates more interest. Everybody worries about what they're going to look like. Under no circumstances asked to see the photographs before the end. As soon as you see your, your, your face on that little screen on the, on, the, on the camera, you're going to start judging yourself. Doubt's going to set in. 
and that is going to destroy your confidence. Do not, under any circumstance, and this goes for everyone, even if you're a seasoned actor who's used to being photographed, it's going to affect the way you think. Trust the photographer, trust yourself, and at the end, you can have a look at some fantastic photos, but don't jeopardise it by going, oh, uh, can I just have a little, can I just have a little look? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, they're nice, but, uh, yeah, don't do it. The most important thing on the day is you've done all this preparation. This day is about you. This is your chance to create more work for yourself. Have fun. It's great. This sort of thing doesn't happen every day. I mean, do you get, do you have a headshot session every day? No, you don't. Enjoy it. Embrace it. Know that these new headshots are a great thing and they're going to create more work for you. They're going to create more success for you. So enjoy that process.